Good morning, bird brains. Welcome back to another moto vlog. This is just gonna be a standard classic moto vlog. I haven't done one in a long time. And uh, I know you guys really like these style of videos, so I'm gonna try to do my, uh, do a better job of making these a regular occurrence. I feel like I've been getting tied up with the group rides and the events and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry, I will try to do better. But today we're going to talk about some uh, pretty exciting news. Um, a couple things actually. The first being that uh, Miss Bird is actually getting a new bike. Uh, this has been kind of in the plans for a while, but we finally went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Of course, I'm not going to tell you what it is or anything like that, but you can uh, go ahead and make a guess in the comment section below. I'd be, I would love to see what you guys think it is. I also did want to uh, touch on some some things of why she's getting rid of it and things like that it was it was more of my call than her call if that if that sounds bad but it was and it doesn't have to do with the height i know a lot of people are were saying that oh she can't touch of course she can't ride your better better motorcycle professionals but you have to understand guys miss bird is just short that bike was as low as we could get it also the seat height on that bike is damn near the same as on the Sportster. I doubt I still have the pictures, but I have pictures side by side showing how she sat on the Ninja versus how she sat on the Sportster. And I'm telling you guys, the amount of foot that she has on the ground is damn near the same. The big problem is, is that the Sportster is about 100 pounds heavier. So she felt even less comfortable on that. So we, we made some changes here and there. Uh, we've got, Hopefully, fingers crossed, some sponsors on board so we can actually do another build with her bike. That way she can kind of, uh, you know, make it her own. And I'm hoping what if she does that, that she'll, she'll want to ride more often. That's kind of been the biggest issue is she hasn't really caught that, that bug yet. And that's some, it's not something you can force. And I just feel like with this new bike and making it her own, I feel like that'll kind of, you know, hopefully help her catch that bug. But if not, oh well, we've got another bike, then we can either sell it or who knows. But that will be coming, uh, if you haven't seen it already, it'll probably be within a couple videos of this going out. Keep a lookout for that. Like I said, put whatever you think it's gonna be down in the comment section below. I I'm just very curious to see what you guys think it's going to be. And then, uh, speaking of bike builds, uh, we do have another Dyna episode coming shortly as well. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, oh well. Uh, I'm just out for a cruise. I really don't have a uh, place to be. 19 miles per hour. That is a strange uh, speed limit there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Dyna build series. We do have another Dyna build series coming soon. I'm hoping to have it out by the end of this month. Uh, the only reason I might think it might not come out that soon is because I don't want to do just a one part episode. I would like to at least get two things done, but uh, who knows? If, if it gets down to the wire and I can only do one part, then I'll just do one part. It's really no big deal. If you're uh, interested in watching the Build Series live streams, those have been uh, really fun the past couple of times. Go ahead and uh, check out my Patreon, the Baby Birds tier, or no, the Big Bird, or yeah, Big Birds tier and the Bitchin' Birds tier both get access to the uh, live streams. They also get access to the uh, Patreon game nights, which we were having Friday the 22nd. We we're having one of those. Those are also broadcasted live on Twitch, so if you uh, don't want to take part in it and just want to come hang out in the Twitch stream, I'll include a link to that down in the description as well. And uh, speaking of, I mean, if I'm going to go ahead and do shameless plugs, I might as well get them all out of the way now. Uh, I finally have the new Bike and Bird snapbacks up on the website. Uh, just visit bikeandbird.com, have them in two options, gray and camo. Uh, both of them are the same price. Uh, these are made to order. Uh, these are actually being supplied through DeVille Supply Co. Uh, he's also a fellow uh, Harley enthusiast, uh, owns his own embroidery company. This is not a partnership or anything like that. This is just, you know, bikers supporting bikers. But uh, those are up on the website as of right now. Uh, like I said, made to order, so they are gonna take a little while to ship out. I'm estimating anywhere between three and six weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try to hopefully get a batch of them all at once 
balanced that way you know i'm not just sending over a bunch of one-offs and two-offs over to uh the embroidery shop but uh, i got mine in i absolutely love it the camos are new era uh 5950 snapbacks super high quality great embroidery work uh these are not just cheap uh how can I put this? They're not Teespring quality <laughs> products. Which, by the way, sp speaking of Teespring, um, for those of you who have been around for a while, you know I have been wanting to ditch Teespring for a hot minute now, and I finally was able to find a new company to go through. And uh, I got my first samples in about a week ago, and oh my god, was it a, uh, a world of difference. The quality of these shirts is just leaps and bounds ahead of what uh, Teespring was providing, and they're a lot faster. I know their website says uh, I think 7 to 14 business days, but mine actually print and shipped in I think 4 or 5 days. So uh, you can get over to bikingbird.com for those as well. I have uh, quite a few new designs. But uh, enough uh, pimping myself out onto the rest of the news. We actually have uh, two upcoming bike builds. Now, I don't want to get you excited to make you think these are starting next week. These are in the very early planning stages. We actually, when I say we, I mean the uh, me, Roblox, and Ken, who have started our own podcast. Uh, I highly suggest you go and check those podcasts out. We got some great feedback uh, from the first two episodes. By the time you're watching this, episode three uh, is probably either already out or very close to being out. So, um, head over to between two wheels.com link in the description for that. Oh, I said I was going to stop pimping myself out, but I guess <laughs> I guess I'm just too much of a pimp for my even myself. Anyways, uh, between two wheels podcast, we started talking about uh, what we would like to do as a bike bill. And now this kind of conjoined with an idea that I have had for a while, and that was uh, to give a bike away. Now, like I said, don't get excited. This is still way in the early uh, stages here. But the first bike build is going to be an eBay build. Now what we say by eBay is every part is going to be either bought on eBay or traded. For example, if we have uh, pegs or something that we no longer need and we want to get rid of, we'll trade them for something that we can put on the bike. Now, uh, we're probably not going to be giving this one away, uh, most likely for a liability issue because it's probably going to be, uh, we pr I don't know, Texas is one of those states where like you can switch out a frame and get it retitled and it's no longer salvage, yada, 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 but uh, I have no idea what we're getting into. Uh, we're, we're literally just going to buy frame, chassis, motor, wheels, everything is going to be off of eBay, so who knows. It's literally just going to be a Frankenstein bike of parts. Um, don't know how we're going to fund that one. <laughs> that one, uh, that like I said, that one's still... I don't think we'll be able to get sponsors for that. Um, we might. I mean, if we're... I don't, does it count? Because if it's an eBay, like, we... But if we get sponsored parts, is it still an eBay bike? I don't know. Like I said, lots of stuff to figure out about that. Don't want to get too deep into that. But the second one, the second bike build that we have in the works... Uh, we went ahead and nicknamed it Operation Fresh Start. Now, this is a topic that we talked about on the podcast. You, you guys know that I, I love our military. I'm a huge supporter of the armed forces, which, by the way, I'm going to pause right there. Uh, if you guys caught the last mail time, you saw this patch right here. Uh, this is actually a um, patch from one of our subscribers, Adam, who sent this over. This is one of the patches he wore on his uniform as he was uh, deployed overseas. Uh, I kind of had like a, I don't know, should I, you know, put it on the bike, which is, you know, exposed to the elements and stuff like that. I actually asked Ken, who is a uh, veteran himself, he said, those are those are combat patches. Those are meant to be outside. They're, they're gonna be fine. And uh, so I figured, yeah, why not put it on the bike? Something that means a lot to me. This is obviously something that meant a lot to him. And also it gets a lot of camera time. So thank you, Adam, once again, for sending that out. And uh, there you guys know why I now have the uh, American flag on the back there. Anyways, back to the bike. Uh, we talked about how um, veterans, especially combat veterans, when they come back from deployment, uh, life isn't the same, understandably so. Uh, everything's different. Uh, they kind of have to restart their lives. And that's, as they were talking, it, it trips trip my mind there. I've always had an idea of wanting to build a bike, uh, a bike and bird build, 
basically just paint and parts, not, you know, something super custom or anything, but make it, you know, one of a kind and unique and give it away to a veteran. Now, how we choose that veteran, no idea. That's still, like I said, way early in the stages, but uh, I, it's something I'm really passionate about. And I feel like we could get a lot of sponsors on board with that. I feel like that's a lot of good publicity and uh, it'll be great for the channel too, because they'll be sharing the videos. They'll be sharing my videos, helping a veteran. Everyone wins in that situation. But when they said the idea of the fresh start, that's when I had the the epiphany of Operation Fresh Start. It's a, a symbolism of starting over. And essentially what I want to do is build a bike, and we already have an idea for the bike. We want to do kind of a, uh, a Springer front end soft tail. Uh, I'll throw up a couple pictures of kind of what I'm thinking about. But we want to do the bike uh, all white. So all the tins will be painted like a like a, just a, a nice clean white and then we've also talked about doing some uh, like a ghosted American flag somewhere on the tank or something like that something super simple because one thing we talked about on the podcast is uh, the, the the veterans really don't like the or I'm not going to say the veterans a good portion of veterans don't like the gaudy uh, OD army green or the super flamboyant American flags everywhere now don't get me wrong of course there are people that, that still do enjoy that but uh, from what I've gathered from a lot of veterans is they're 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 they've been through that already and they've they've done the the over the top patriotism and not a lot of people well I don't want to say not a lot but a lot of people I've talked to don't like that style and to be honest it's just overdone it's everyone their mom has seen an OD green or an American flag bike now of course everyone's seen a white bike but we we still want the fresh start to be kind of like a clean slate a clean piece of paper to be evident in the design of the bike so we've been uh, we've been looking around online uh, looking for sponsors looking for a bike to start with uh, ideally I would like uh, a frame motor and tranny all in one piece uh, even if it's a, a salvage bike <laughs> but uh, we'll take what we can get I mean it's gonna be given away so but we don't want it to be a trash bike. We want it to be a bike that, you know, someone can receive and be proud of. So, guys, there you have it. That is uh, pretty much all of the big, exciting news, uh, at least for the shortcoming. Hopefully, I'll have some more details on those bike builds uh, soon. Uh, like I said, it's been... Uh, it'll probably be after summer. Just, oh, shit, what are you doing, sir? You need to stop. Um, what was I saying? Uh, it'll probably be after summer just in complete transparency. Uh, summer was very busy for the channel because we can ride so often. There's a lot of events going on, a lot of rides going on. So uh, we'll probably wait until uh, the off season to uh, start really getting into it. But if you have any ideas of how to make that build easier or if you want to be a sponsor or a part of it, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I can reach out to you and get more uh, details on it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.